Okay, just put it in reverse. Go slow and be careful. What if I hit the tree? Just aim left and you'll be good, but not too left or you'll hit my car. Okay. Wait, wait, no, don't roll up the window. No, no, wait, no, left, left, no, no, not that left, mine left. Wait, wait, stop. Dad? Yeah? I think I hit your car. Yeah. Should I... Should I go back? No, it's not going to get any worse. Just keep going. When I was 16, my dad got me my first car. A little two-door marshmallow on wheels that was about as old as I was. It didn't have an aux cord, the sunroof leaked whenever it rained, and one time my friend got blood on the passenger seat. But I loved this car. I named it Charlie, and I loved it because it was so small and cramped that no one ever asked me for rides, especially after the blood incident. It's okay, we'll just meet you there. Aw oh, man, I got a ride by myself. It was like my own private igloo where I could belt out show tunes and Taylor Swift in peace. And no one would judge me. But as a fresh 16-year-old on the road, accidents happen. One time after hanging out with my friend Kaylee, yes, the bologna sandwich girl, as I was leaving the neighborhood, I heard a loud bang. I look over and I see a whole ass mailbox uprooted from the earth, completely airborne, then slam into the grass. I was mortified. My first thought though was, I'm so glad I only hit a mailbox and not a person or an animal. And my second thought was, my dad is gonna kill me when he finds out. And I do not want any more bloodstains in this car. Wait, pause. Kill me? Why? Find out about what? It's just a mailbox. Because, dear viewers, I knew this day of reckoning would come. Dad, if you're watching this, I was on my phone while driving. But, this is why, from that day on, I never use my phone while driving. Never, ever, ever. And thankfully, I learned this lesson without hurting myself or others. So please take it from me. Do not text or Snapchat or tweet or do anything on your phone while driving. Another thing too, no matter how little the damage is, never drive away. Thankfully, I did not make that mistake. I put the car in reverse, I zoomed into the driveway, and awkwardly approached the homeowner. I wasn't really sure what to do. I knew when two cars got in an accident, you're supposed to exchange your insurance but I don't think insurance covers mailboxes. I handed him all my information anyway, and I promised I would buy him a new $300 mailbox. This guy has very expensive tastes in mailboxes. But that, that was fine. I, I did commissions, and eventually I even got my first job to pay it back. It was fine. Speaking of which, one mistake anyone who drives a car often faces is getting scammed by dealerships and shops, because they think we don't know what's up. Now I'll admit, I am simply a clown with a driver's license, so I in fact do not know what is up. But my dad does. So you just wait till my father hears about this. After I moved to California for college, my parents sold my first car at home and put that money towards a new car for me out here. Rip Charlie, may God bless his name. But my next car was a red marshmallow on wheels that I named Lightning McQueen. It wasn't exactly new new, it was like pre-owned or whatever, but it had an aux cord, the sunroof did not leak, cause it didn't have a sunroof, and there were no visible bloodstains. Oh no. Soon after buying it though, we found out there was a recall on the airbags. Recall just means that there's something faulty with the car and the dealerships themselves will reach out to you and fix it for free. That day came and they told me it would only take an hour, so I went in before my four o'clock class. But about halfway into the repairs, one of the guys called me over and said that they found my car needed a new something, I, I don't know cars, but it would be at least a thousand dollars to fix. And I said, okay, well, I have class later, so can I come back maybe tomorrow and have this done? Oh, no, no, no. And he emphasized how lucky I was to have even made it here, considering the problem was so serious. Oh, well, can you guys call me a taxi and I'll just leave my car here? Oh, I'm sorry, you're out of range. What? How am I supposed to get to class? Hmm, you can phone a friend. Oh, 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 oh. A phone a friend? No, this isn't a game show, and, and you can't hold me in my car hostage. Well, I don't know what to tell you. If you drive this car off the lot in this condition, it just won't be safe. Now look, this car wasn't brand new, but it also was not a lemon. The past owners took great care of it, hadn't been in any accidents whatsoever, and I brought it in for an oil change 
every time my dad reminded me. It wasn't due for anything major, and even if it was, the things this guy was listing wasn't minor. This was car surgery. And so sudden, too. So this didn't make any sense to me. But I said, you know what? I will phone a friend. I called my dad, I told him what was up, and he was just as blindsided as I was. My dad told me that even if my car needed those things, it wouldn't amount to a thousand dollars. He said to not sign anything, just get the airbag replacement and bring it to another place for a second opinion. Hm. Yes, father. I'll let them know. My dad said no. <laughs> So I took Latin to my local Just Tires, and okay, not sponsored or whatever, but I really appreciate Just Tires. And here is why I stand. When I came to get that second opinion, the dude could have looked at my car, looked at me, looked at my clown license and said, this girl knows nothing about cars. So I can do anything to her car and charge her whatever I want. And I do feel like making money today. But you know what he said instead? Uh probably use a car wash, but that's about it. And he was right. There was a lot of bird poop on my car. So yeah, be careful what you do behind the wheel and be careful who you trust with your car. And shout out to my dad for not getting mad at me when I hit his car in that one guy's mailbox. Love you, dad. Oh, hey, sport. It's just me, the best dad ever, shaving my dad beard face. Because this video is sponsored by Dollar Shave Club. As you can see, my daily skincare routine involves shaving my luscious dad beard. Okay, fine, you got me. I can't grow a full beard, whatever. But Dollar Shave Club has plenty of other products, including toothbrushes, hair gel, even butt wipes. It ships right to your door, and the more you buy, the more you save. They call it the handsome discount. And that's not a dad joke. Like, that's seriously what they call it. <laughs> hey, you're just in time. Quiet on set, please. I'm a dad on the internet having a great- I know. I'm a dad on the internet having a great time. I'm just a dad on the internet having a great time. But, but- Are we best friends what? now? No, I'm, uh, I'm okay. the best dad ever. But that's okay, you go over there, I'll be over here being a dad, and we'll just be enemies. That's fine. Okay, sounds good. That's fine. Okay. Look, there's a dad inside all of us, but we're not the same dad. So that's why Dollar Shave Club is offering the shave, shower, or oral starter set for only $5. My favorite is the oral care starter set, which comes with a toothbrush and a toothpaste. It's really minty. All right, Ian, smell my breath. No, no, thank you. Please. Oh, it is minty. Oh, it is minty. Try out a $5 starter set at dollarshaveclub.com slash alienation. Link in the description. After the trial, they ship at regular price at regular size. Checking it out directly supports me and my channel. So thank you, Dollar Shave Club. Oh, yeah. When's the last time you got your oil changed? <laughs> Recently. 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 <laughs> I need to clean out my car, too. I have a lot of receipts in my car. Thank you, Dad, for being in my video and voicing lines. That's so funny. That's so funny. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> did you have a good time? I did. That was a lot of fun. I would do it again. You do it again? Yeah. Uh huh. Just, just give us a heads up when you want to. <laughs> we'll, we'll even make the bed and Ooh. maybe Mom will make some biscuits again. Mom will make breakfast. Yes. Yes.